So, we always end up on country roads. I'm not going to start a song. I know how many people love that. Take me home. <laughs> this, is, this is up to him. Uh, right. Guys and girls, just want to add, because Paul obviously does a lot of analytics of the channel, looks after the back door. And I just want to say, what is it, 74%? 74% of you watch. Time See subscribe. the videos, and it doesn't cost a penny, guys, to subscribe, but it means the absolute world to me, honestly. It really does, and it makes a massive difference. If you want to help us make a difference, make the channel grow, we want to start a second channel. Anyway. It takes three seconds, guys. Three seconds to head so, over and click it. There you go. Three seconds. <laughs> right, let's get on. Let's roll on country roads. So look, I normally start the video right near the house, but this is what happens now to the old... This is how I used to contact my friends when my mum said I wasn't allowed out, so I'd just come and grab the phone at the phone box and ring my powers, but now look, the old London phones. We're not in London, but the old red box UK phones are now... A lot of them are defibrillators, defibrillators is that how you say it? Yeah, defibrillators, yeah, yeah. Or little libraries, so locals in here come in, put their books in when they finish reading and there's someone else up here will come and grab a book. It's a nice little way, nice little touch. Oh, do you know what? Just to roll on from the actual last video that you did, uh, this has nothing to do with it at all, but just ironically, they're doing a scarecrow trail. Ah, yeah, I didn't want to show it a minute ago, but yeah, I see it said scarecrow. there is a scarecrow, scarecrow trail. Yeah, obviously you can't show it because of... I do like that. A lot of old villagers are doing that. Yeah, that's good. So anyway, we're starting the phone box, me and Paul are out, we're going to go and explore a time capsule. No, not a lot about it, apart from, uh, we were told roughly it was over a decade it's been abandoned. Um, yeah, should go and check it out. Let's go do it. You sure? Yeah, let's do it. Guys and girls, follow us on all social media, all links are in the description. Love you loads. Get on with the video. Welcome back, explorers. As we travelled up to the north of England, to explore this beautiful countryside. We now adventure into the Smith's family home. Now Geoffrey grew up here as a child when his father, or it could have been his grandfather, we're not quite sure, built the family home in 1906. Now this place sits completely abandoned and nature taking back. Some say when Geoffrey met Beryl and the loss of his wife completely changed him. The family business fell to the ground where he didn't want to do anything anymore. The local community centre he didn't attend anymore. And then some say he feared that much of someone else owning his family home when he got to the point where he couldn't really look after himself anymore. He started a fire in his own living room. Now this place sits abandoned, unloved and left. When Geoffrey got taken away and put into a nursing home and sadly passed away six years ago, his house now sits forgotten. Love you all guys. So guys, always end up on country roads. We're going to head into a house that's in there. Yes, it's in there. You see the footage at the beginning of the drone. This place. <laughs> Let's go and have a little look. It's a little time capsule. There used to be an old car here. I'm really shocked to look at this place. It's, it's changed from what I've seen also. Don't even know if there's a way in. This is a cowling off a of fold. Ah, full puma over here. That's all the cowling for it. But that's definitely a fold anyway. Because well, all folds used to have the old hazard switch on top of the dash. Anyway, look at this place, guys. Yo, what's happening, explorers? So I'm out with Paul. I'll show him in a second. We've literally would be like if we were rocking through the front door of this property and already I can see it's absolutely I don't want to sound horrible but it's so disgusting here it's been abandoned well we're going to let you know through the video how long and what we can find out on the history of this place so the, let's get on with it let's stand there so what's happening let's have a look so yo this is my man Paul hello guys oh it is it's all charred 
good stuff. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, so this is the first room we've come straight in and guys you can see already this place is it looks like it's been ransacked a bit but also it could have been that the fact that there has been a it, well a fire in this place and the staircase uh, oh, it looks like it's burnt up through the maybe from the basement yeah i was just gonna say does it feel oh, dude yeah be careful man it feel like it feel like Oh, this is a flat floor, isn't it? Hell Nintendo controller there. Super Nintendo. The batteries near the box. Keep the old clue. Let's have a little look around. It's this little living room, this old farmhouse. You can see a wedding photo still up there on the top of the fireplace too. Oh, look at the old laptop as well, dude. Yeah, all compact. Some light now. But you know what I love about exploring, Paul? This is all the old memories, dude. And it's hard to actually think that maybe some of these rooms are inside this place. And this picture here. No, I was going to say it might have been outside the old farm, but it's not. Some CDs, the old pipe there. That 1945, dude. So it'd have been their parents, his or hers. Loads of CDs, such as Life in the Club, Johnny Carson. Oh, look at some of these old stuff. The old race game. And this is your, uh, the bottles, Dave. Look at this lovely. Oh, look at that soda. It's old Schweppes one, I think. Look at that. Hooper. Do you know what? 1990. I actually thought that was older than 1990. But That's yeah. It. What is that? Do you remember? Yeah, dude. Sound like a chatting or something. Yeah, it's aimed that way. Oh wow! Look at that. If I had to clear this place out of some like house clearance, I'd have to keep the Garfield clock. Oh, I mean, just look at these lovely, these lovely walking sticks over here. Dude, everything is literally in this place, it's been left behind. Why was there like an outdoor indoor? It's got like a knock on everything. You know, like if you're just keeping someone in there locked up. <laughs> Obviously not, but. Oh, look at the old toy cupboard. This is totally a bit of me. And the things, everything left behind in here. This is when I don't want a box on my back so I can actually look. What is that? There's definitely a lot of fire damage. You can see the black soot on the wall still. And this is cool as well. Look at the old cash register, ice cream. You see how clean it would have been. Dude, what do you reckon happened here? Definitely, I'm judging by. You, know, you see the soot everywhere. There's old Henry VIII there. It's obviously got to be such very, a uh, it? Seem very like patriotic, patriotic family. Yeah, I was, I, there's this, a St yeah. George flag there. It's basically. A... I mean, this this lady here. Yeah. I don't know. There's some something about her that reminds me of somebody that's actually quite famous. Right. Oh, okay. So if anybody in the comment, you know, mention. If they recognise this lady, but she does look like uh, maybe so. A bit of a celebrity. Oh, look at all these. Let's, maybe these were birthday cards, too. You know, like cards hanging so up. This could, this could have been Christmas time, maybe. There's no sort of obvious sign in here what started the fire, like walking around in here. This bottom. Oh, look, there's an actual drawing of the house, of how it looked. Sorry. There's an actual drawing there. Of the house we're in. I don't want to show too much because it's got the name of the house. Stuff. It's horrible when you have to walk through these properties like this and you're basically stepping on people's life and all their belongings. But look, you can't even get round properly. It's 
to have been the dining room. And the, you see the blinds just straight there. All the soot and mold and decay just everywhere. It's like you're trying to make your way around and trying to tell a story. Wow. Sounds like you can still hear the water running. and girls I'm not even exaggerating the smell in this room is absolutely disgusting if I could put like a smell vision not vision but a smell thing on this you'd be begging me to turn the video off right now because the smell is so bad it's like pure I think I'm walking on pure sewage the smell I don't even think I could bear much longer in this room. There's a 2010 calendar there that gives us a two, 13 years abandoned. Dude, I need you to experience the, the oh, aroma. You want me to? The aroma. Okay. Just here. Yeah, just just oh. take it in and kind of picture. Oh, you got it yet? Hmm. <laughs> that smells uh, very local. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's even look, pea bugs eating away through all the paperwork in here. So I don't want to show the name, but oh, I don't even want to touch this paper. So this is a tax form here for a Mr. Oh, HM Inspector. Okay, dear Smith. So it's a Mr. Smith that lived here. You see the water, dude, look under the sink. I can't handle it in this room. It's just strong. It's, it's really very, strong. very, very strong. I just, you know, kind of work out what's going on with the fire. I know it's hard to work out where it started yeah. and what has even happened. But even if you think of a fire brigade was to come out and wet everything, there's yeah. still a lot of stuff on the floor that doesn't look like it's got wet. What's called, where's the fire started? Because there's charcoal bits on the ceiling. I oh, know, that's not, is it? It's just black. That's, that's the original, that one, isn't it? Yeah. I kind of want to get around there, but I don't either. I don't want to say this is all like sewage then. Or is it just this? Uh, I mean, look inside the freezer, guys. But it's trying to visual the family living here. At the moment, we're just picking up this one guy, Mr. Smith. I'm not seeing any other. Let's have a look at the letter here. There's nothing in there. Oh, it stinks. Oh, there's a bank letter here. So it is definitely a business here. Oh, okay, no, I've got it completely wrong. So ignore that, there's an electric bill here. Sorry, a, a bank statement of 10,000 pound, his balance. And it was a Jeffrey, a Mr. Jeffrey that lived here. So the Smith might have been a business partner or a name because it was a business letter. If I knew it was this bad dude, I would have had a tetanus jab. Pro. I would have had the whole lot, I would have wore the whole hazmat suit. Oh, it stinks. Sorry, guys, I know I'm going to annoy you now by saying how much it stinks. What is it? What's happening in this place, Steve? Stinks. Yeah. Oh, look at it. Even the spiders in that made his home in the cupboard of food. I mean, the, the actual freezer uh, over here, the electric. Dude, the clock is still trying to tick. I can't even make my way round into this room. Yes, I can. I'm through. Oh, it's just so weird. So obviously I'm in the back end of the house right now. This little old cottage. You see there's a computer stand there with paperwork that's just rotting away. The back garden, guys, you can't even see out there now. There's a management consultant certificate on the wall. Even the radiator's been cut off, but you know who's done that. I'm not going to say 
who, but we have certain people in the UK at the site think it's okay to come in properties and cut all the metal and electrics out of them. So heading back out of the kitchen, guys. A little dresser there. Not dresser, but still got his Bell's whiskey on the side and his old whiskey glasses right. there. Yeah, he's just here. It's one minute. It's for you, Dave. Has it? Yeah. Oh, hello, Mark. 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 Hi, Mark. Mark, I've replaced you, bro. Paul's your new person. Okay, love ya. Guys, he says love you, and he is going to appear soon in the videos. Um, let me know what you think of Paul. <laughs> Go easy with him. I'm delicate. He is very delicate. <laughs> so I... Oh, look at that. So disgusting. Yeah. Well, I've been on revenue, so... Okay. I know what this guy is now. Sorry? I know what this guy is. Right, okay. I think. Is that a picture there of an adult child? <laughs> Does that look like an adult child about being rude? Dude. Yeah. Doesn't even look like a child. Dude, I feel I'm going to chance the stairs. Oh, I can feel it all move. So I'm kind of getting a feeling as well that this guy was a real hoarder. So part of the kitchen floor has fallen through here and you can feel by the, the way the floor here is dipped. Watch this landing, dude, it's falling. So this is so cool. Oh, smelling here, guys. I don't want to sound crude, but it's like a strong urine sort of smell. All the clothes still hanging in the wardrobe. This is a... Uh, I think it's an old Atari game. Yeah, Commodore, sorry. Guys, put me to the test. Whoever sees this video knows the house. Come back. You'll see everything in my video still here. There's a bank card there as well. This has been really ransacked, this house. Ransacked. I don't really like climbing over people's stuff. It's just no way of moving around in here. Oh. We're good. I thought that was a car pulling up. Blockbuster quiz, dude. You any good? Um, no. I'd, Paul, I think we should make this room really tidy and let's have a film night here. What are you feeling? Uh, we'll have a little dress up thing as well. well. You we... can dress up as clothes in the wardrobe. <laughs> Please don't ever take anything to offence, guys. We never, never mean no harm to anyone. I'm here exploring. I was checking out to see if there's a guitar case. You know, I wouldn't just, obviously, in any way kind of upset the family is that the right way oh mate oh, I've put near enough gone for the floor dude damn do you know how much people are paying for these things nowadays yeah, no, the old Sanyo cassette players and stuff they're all back in there all the old uh, cassette things so what are you thinking it's it's um that's a strange one. Obviously, it must have been quite old because they never, never updated the decor. So, very. Uh, it's very strange. I'm going to show you. Oh, okay. So, let, someone's selling one there on eBay for forty-five pounds. So that just proves that people are collecting forty-five pounds is around about sixty dollars. For old cassette players, so guys, if you've got old cassette players, anything cash in the attic, dig it out. Sorry, bro. Okay. Just trying to work our way back around this place. I just don't like this. Is the only thing I'm going to mention in this video out right now. Exploring in the UK. You know, I know I've stayed away for quite a while, but this is a good reason why 
I don't like exploring in the UK because you come into places within weeks they are ransacked, they're trashed, people have stolen stuff and they all think it's okay. You know, and I've heard so many times there's a lot of people making a good living out of social media of their exploring, but they're actually, they're not in it for that. But we won't say any names or anything. I just think if you see the video and you know you are, unfortunately karma is a sod. So we're just gonna leave this bedroom, but honestly in this room, it smells like something has died in here. It's so bad. There's an old Christmas calendar there on the bed that's been opened up. Like, really strong. They've even gone to the point of moving the whole mattress to see what they maybe is under the bed. Absolutely disgusting. Look at this. The fields that run at the back probably would have been the farm to the, all the fields. I think the basement dude must have been where the fire was and the smoke's just poured up there everywhere. Yes, there is a basement. Have you even seen a door to a basement? There's a back in the land in here. And Paul's getting all the into the old camera lark of it all now. It's actually been to deal with my channel for a long time in the back bit. <laughs> standing in someone's bathroom look at the state of this room why is there even a tv in the bathroom so i don't stand too much here because you can see the flooring down there is completely dipped through so yeah trying to without going through to see you what was you saying do so obviously on the card we've got an expiry yeah it's never been activated Right, okay. So the card obviously was expired in 2010. Oh, sorry, 2010. I mean, that, that card, the numbers didn't mean anything on the card anyway, but you can see that. Oh. Yeah, we're about showing too much. To be about showing too much of it, yeah. So, the 4th, 2010. Yeah, we're getting And it was still looking quite well kept then, so. Hey, dude. Did we hit our heads on that? No, I can't. I don't think I could even... Why is she saying that? We haven't been upstairs for about, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, to be fair, I don't... It wouldn't, no, it, I wouldn't even hit it. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that's just the screw not coming out. Oh, it could be. <sighs> Look at this. Wow, I can see Mr. Pop over in the corner there. <sighs> Look at this, the big builder. So many games that bring back memories as me, like me as a child. Especially these things, the water game. It still works. Old toys. Paul, look at these. Oh, I used to have those. Even the box is so still we, there, dude. So we, we, you know, looking at toys in here. I mean, oh my goodness, hey. I don't even want to climb over it, but I do. You know, there's one thing with this, I haven't heard you mention it. Dude, look at the old Commodore. Is that 64? Yeah, well, the game next door is a Commodore. Is look at you. Look at that. Yeah. This is Dave. Well, hopefully it's a bit cleaner than this. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Thomas the Tank Engine. So, this is... Oh, look at it all. And that's the original Thomas as well. So, this is like... This is like my childhood. And that, as I said, Mr. Pop. Oh, I love these. I love that. It stinks in here, dude. It's really bad. Look at the sooty annual there. This game here, without it, I was going to say, without looking at the box, I promise you I knew exactly when I see these bits here, this mouse trap. Honestly. I don't know what's happened in this room, but it's been... I don't know what's going on. I know people are hoarders, but this is really... Look at it, it's really bad. Yeah. So that was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles poster there. So it says to me, this would have been like the old kids' room. You're just proving how old the kids would have been there. Because these games, dude, are all 60s, 70s. Do you agree? Maybe 80s? This is when you're showing a nice little 66 Ford Mustang on the, uh, on the wall. Well, look at that. 1974. Wow. He's like, please don't leave me in here. But I'm sorry, dude. I cannot take you with me. 
<laughs> I've actually got some of them on my office desk, so remember this one. So if I ever do a live and you ask to see him, it will not be that dude. <laughs> if I had got him, then he's his brother. I wouldn't have taken him. Hey, look. A little old fashioned doctor set there. What's this into your heart, dude? Oh, not been much there for many years, but. No? This back of an old TV. It's so bad in here, though. Honestly, it's really hard to actually video to show you guys. Shh, shh. But I suppose there could be wildlife in here, you know, it's uh, open to the elements. What did you hear? It was like a, it's like, you know, like that paper. All right, sorry. Like a, like, a, like dry paper being... <sighs> or move. Move. It just makes me wonder, Paul, that this shelf in here would have been filled up with so many toys and people have stolen. I do really get that feeling, dude. I mean, like, even the loft's been opened up. Why? Yeah, I, I, I mean, looking at the... I mean, I've seen a previous video before, not recently as well, and there was more stuff on there, so not pointing fingers, but there you go. Dude, what was the next, what's the next verse? Do you remember? Nelly the elephant. Act. Her trunk said goodbye to the circus. Off oh, she went. went. Trump, Trump. 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 <laughs> Oh yeah, look at the old car there on the wall. And don't worry, we wouldn't give up the day job to start singing. Really? Oh, I wouldn't. I thought, was joining a, I thought we was going to go on X Factor to do. Britain's got some. Oh, look at the old telly there. I want to move stuff. There's so much paperwork in this place. I just love that down there, the old little Commodore screen. So it I just proves the old games next door, the old Robocop Commodore. And it hurts me to leave that game here, dude, because you know how much I love old game stuff. And it makes me wonder if there was a lot more game stuff in here and people have stole it. Because I swear it was this place that I remember seeing a video where there was old Nintendo games, NES games. And I haven't seen any. Have you, Paul? We've seen a controller, haven't we? Yeah. Well, it could even be like you said. What's that? Yeah. That just sounds like noises all the time, bro. Yeah, that's it. I think maybe I should get into paranormal stuff, dude. Well, you know what? With all the everything that's going on over the past. I know a lot of you are probably watching this now and being like, no, don't. But honestly, I experience so much things in places. But I never try and push it because I always feel that I don't want to come across that way where people disagree. Right, we're going to head in probably head round the back and see what's out there it's just in the kitchen here yeah. so it's definitely a, this is for a Renault Megane logbook it's in the UK this is obviously the document called a V5 there's all the paperwork here for the car as well oh it's an old B-Reg this ain't for that car it's an old Volvo 1985 Makes you laugh to know the last bit of rubbish in the bin that was put here. The iron just sucks so out of place in here. <sighs> There's another little old laptop here. Oh, it's really slimy. I need to wash my hands after getting out of this place. It's absolutely disgusting here. I don't mean that horribly by saying that, but it is horrible in here. To this room here, the old speaker up there. Goes into the old downstairs toilet. It's a random plug in the wall as well with no lead on it. What was that about? There's definitely no electric in here anyway. The old 70s sort of light there. I think I'm done in this bit, guys. So back outside the property. So we're going with 13 years this place has been abandoned. I mean, it's saying there that this place is secured by rapid security. Not that rapid, are they? 
So we can't even get around the back of this. So I'm going to show you a little bit of drone clips at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. But guys, check the front of this property out. Obviously this once was the driveway into this house. But it, apart from the door and the part of the little window sticking out there, there's just no other like sign you can see this was a house. So the, on a video that I see before, there was a car here, a Ford Puma. And I think obviously someone stole it. <laughs> Dude, you can't even tell it's a house. <laughs> it's not what I was expecting, I'll be honest. Nah, it's... It's a shame. It's a little bit sad to see the state it's in. Um, but yeah. So ladies and gents, as I said, you never know what these properties are going to be like. I've got a spider right on my lens. You never know what these properties are going to be like. And it's obviously, hello, until you go and explore them. Unfortunately, this one, we was a little bit too late. Uh, I like to swear right now, Paul. I'm out with my man Paul here. You see him in the video a minute ago. But yeah, I'd like to swear. So I'm going to say these effing dude holes have been in there. They've looted it, trashed it. So yeah, thumbs down to the losers. You are your scum. Anyway, not you guys watching. I'm on about the people that treat properties like this. But it's that from me, guys. That from Paul. Bye, guys. Love you loads. And don't forget to hit all the social media. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, where I upload photos every day on Facebook of all the properties I've explored. And uh, thanks so ever so much for channel membership and Patreons. Without your support, there probably wouldn't even be an AWE anymore. But love you loads. As the sign says, please drive careful. <laughs> <laughs> Take care. God bless. Love you loads.